Hi, I'm Joe Polizzi, and this is the Content Inc. Podcast. Five minutes every Monday for content creators who desire to be content entrepreneurs. Hey gang, 46% of creators surveyed by The Tilt said that one of their biggest challenges was monetizing their content. Don't we know it, right? I can tell you that one tried and true method is to become a published author. Turning your blog or newsletter content into a printed book with Lulu has never been easier and more profitable. Lulu's e-commerce plugins allow you to sell directly to your fans from your site while they handle all the printing and shipping. You keep all your customer data and 100% of your profits. Create a free account at lulu.com today. I'm not sure if you've been following the hashtag CEX or Creator Expo hashtags, but the images from this year's conference are really something. Most of the Creator Economy Expo speakers have been sharing them, and thanks to Rob Wetzler from Wetzler Studios, who was our photographer this year, we've used him many times for many different events, and he did not disappoint with the photos from CEX this year. Now, last year, which was our first year for CEX, We were already so incredibly over budget for this event, we decided to save some money in that area and do the photography ourselves. We got a few decent pictures, but nothing like what Rob did and nothing that would spur the type of social media sharing and word of mouth we were getting this year. At the beginning of 2019, I finished my manuscript for The Will to Die. I felt good about it, but just good, not great. I gave it to some friends to review, and some of the advice was helpful, but not enough to the point that I felt good about the book. I decided I needed some professional help and hired a book editor with loads of experience with thrillers. And wow, did I get some feedback. Most of the feedback was extremely critical, and the guy was not cheap. But the feedback I did receive helped me turn that book into an Amazon category bestseller and an indie thriller award. Even though I know better now, I run into situations all the time where I should be outsourcing something instead of pushing ahead and doing it myself. I find this with most professional content creators who are entrepreneurs. The first instinct is that they can do it just as good or better than anyone else, and they also want to save some money. The combination of both of these creates a push to keep everything very close to the vest. One of my close friends set up a quick call with me to discuss some strategy issues recently. I opened the Google Calendar meet and they never showed up. I texted 10 minutes in and they said they didn't post it to their calendar and that they've been having trouble with this type of thing lately. Now get this, this person is an extremely successful person. Could nearly be pulling down a million a year if they got their act together. But no, that's not happening yet because this person hasn't hired a person to keep track of their schedule and set up all their meetings. When I outsourced that function, it was a life changer for me. I can't imagine anything of real substance happening in my career if I didn't make that one move. It was too time consuming for me and something that frankly, I was terrible at. So it was great that I outsourced it. So here's what you can do if this is an issue for you and do this periodically. Make a list of all the things you do in a day for the entire week. Then I want you to put a mark next to each one. The first would be to keep something. That is something that you enjoy doing or you're very good at. You put a check mark next to all those things. Then put a question mark next to those things where you're not sure if you should outsource or not. Then with all the rest, make an X next to the ones you need to outsource or you feel that you should outsource. Work on those first, and once all those have been taken care of, you can go analyze the question marks. This should be done at least once per year, in my opinion. You need to focus on what you're great at and outsource the rest. You can thank me later. Now be epic this week, and I'll talk to you next Monday.